Reducing energy consumption can have a huge impact on your bottom line, as well as the environment. And the best way to save energy? Get a clear insight into your current energy consumption, so that you can use that information to identify where energy is being wasted. Only with clear information can you make informed decisions. Guy's de Voice of Progress Energy Monitoring explains. Energy monitoring leads to sufficient to huge energy savings. Savings of about 20, 30, even more percentage of the total consumption. What is needed to, 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 uh, to realize these uh, reductions? You need a good monitoring system, like the Enesco. It, it monitors real-time energy consumption, not only in electricity, but also gas. Secondly, you have a commitment of the organization, uh, a will uh, to, to, to change. You need the information that makes it uh, appealing to, to change. And you have to, if you want to change, you need to understand it, the understanding to change, what to steps to be taken need to be taken. And secondly, information. Information with advice to take action, because it's all about the action. One location where energy consumption is now fully monitored is at the Westergas fabric in Amsterdam. Nika Rust from NEP shows us how that's been achieved. As a company, we want to be more sustainable, so we're measuring the energy levels that we're using. By measuring, you see what you're using. We can reduce the unnecessary moments of energy. For example, by turning, our, by turning the lights down when we're not using the studio or turning the heat down, we could save a lot of energy, so we could also save a lot of money. In every building, in every organization, we have energy waste. Waste of energy is hard to define. We need to, therefore, we need to monitor energy in order to, to, to define what's, what's the waste. Uh, we have more waste than we thought, uh, think it is. We have about approximately uh, 20 to 30 percent of the total uh, energy consumption is waste. Of lightning, for instance. Nobody's in and still the lights are on. These are elements you have to see. And therefore, you need to, uh, to monitor the energy consumption on a lower level, not on the main meter, but on the lower end levels, like on lightning or climate, the, the air handling units, and so on. That's, and then you can take uh, measurements. And there are many, many measurements to be taken to avoid energy waste.